Hey, my name is Greg Barbosa. I own a creative agency focused on web development and SEO and photo video content. Today, I wanted to talk about the number one issue I see new freelancers struggle with, and that's scope creep and managing expectations. Now, if you don't know what scope creep is, scope creep is when you have a project where you tell a client you're gonna do X, Y, and Z. But throughout the project, what ends up happening is the client starts asking for a little change here, a little change there, a little change over there. Before you're even done with the Z part of the X, Y, Z project, you've now added on all these free things as little favors because they were fast and easy. And now these have stacked up to such a degree that you're wasting and spending more time on this project than you intended. And even worse is when the project starts to push to a degree where the client asks for one more thing and you realize that that one more thing stacked on top of everything else you've done now has a negative side effect. And now you have to be the person to tell the client, I have to charge you more money. That hurts. That really hurts. And at that point, the client's gonna ask, why am I paying more money if you've already been doing all this work for free and you haven't completed the original project proposal? It's very hard to tell a client that yes, you give them a bunch of things for free and yes, you have to charge them more money and no, you didn't complete your contract. This is all really a failure of managing expectations. Now, what does managing expectations look like? This is the best part because it's so easy in your proposals and in your contracts and in your conversations with the client, you ask all the questions you can think of. So if the client says, I want you to build a website within one month, your response should be, great, I can build your website within one month. Here's how much it will cost. But to make sure that we do that, I need to make sure I have everything I need by these days. So in your contract, you're laying out what you will do, what the client will do, and when everything will be done by. This way, if there's ever discrepancy in the project, if there's ever concern that things aren't going or flowing in the way that they should, you can always refer back to the contract. And I've had client experiences where we say we're gonna build a website by this date because it has to line up with the product release. So I give them the proposal and say, I'm gonna accomplish all of these things by this date, but if I don't get what I need from you, like content, photos, copy, by this date, I can't guarantee that I'll be done with the project on time. I've had plenty of clients say, I totally get it, I understand, I'll get you everything you need by when you need it. I've had some clients absolutely disappear, not give me anything what I need, and the project never gets done. This is why you collect a deposit at the beginning, remember that. But really, what you're doing with managing expectations is putting the onus back on the client, which is where it should be. You are creating something for other people based on what they want. If they're paying for you to give your own consultations and your own ideas, you start to charge them a consultation rate. But if they ask you to build a website with a red background, you build a website with a red background even if you don't think it looks the best, but you do it to the best of your ability with what you know. One of the ways I describe it to people is, are they hiring a construction worker to physically build the house? Or are they hiring an architect to figure out all the little things that go into building that house? Those two different things are a very different pay scale and it's a different workload. And because of that, you have to manage expectations. Now, there are exceptions to this like any rule. Sometimes a client is so good at giving me what I need and they do it early and so well that I will give them stuff for free. So let's say they've provided me all the content I need for the website and it's been edited, there's no drafts, it's all final copy. What I will do is I'll complete the rest of the project ahead of schedule and at the end offer to the client, hey, we're ahead of schedule on the project. I noticed that there are some little revisions that we can make along the way, maybe some improvements here or there. I'll offer it to you for free if you'd like. Most of the time the client will be ecstatic and say, yeah, I love that. What ends up happening at the end of that project is they got the project they wanted, they got some free work at the end of it, and then after all that said and done, I normally have a client come back and say, hey, all that was really good, I've got another idea for another project. Manage your expectations, you'll reduce scope creep, and you'll build longer, better, stronger relationships with all your clients. Well. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm trying to get more of this content out there with less production, just straight to the value, straight to the point. If you like this video, give it a like. If you got a question or comment about the freelancing world and you're still a little bit iffy, drop it in the comments below. Follow me on Instagram. I do a lot of stuff like this on my stories and I'm also pretty open for DMs. And subscribe if you wanna see more content like this. But for now, 
go out there and make something you love today.